Okay, you, you asked me about dynamic resistance. Let's see if you can see, um, can you see that right there? Here, let's this one. The top number. Yep. What does it say? No, 90. 90? 90. 90. Okay, so it's say 90, all right? If I stand up, will that screw you up? I can, we can adjust. Okay, so you take dynamic resistance and so you keep one shot so you know it's real. And all I'm gonna do is slightly bend my knees. And when I bend my knees, my quads have to be engaged. Then I'm gonna grip with my toes, which means my calves are gonna be engaged. Then I'm gonna straighten my legs. You know that machine you put your legs in and you do this with? And I'm trying to isometrically pull those quads together, those adductors together. Then I'm gonna tuck my tailbone and squeeze my glutes. I always say, ladies, you wanna hold back the hands of time? Squeeze your glutes. Then I'm gonna reach out and grab the ball. And I want you to imagine your body's a fire hydrant. When the fire hydrant turns on, the hoses get really tight because they're full of pressure. Now I'm just gonna reach for the sky. And I call this touchdown. And as I'm moving, it's like as if you're going through clay. I'm just gonna do that one more time. I call that touchdown. When I come down, I'm gonna call this diamond cutter. Push my thumb and index fingers together. Lean back, bring my arms out to a T. Hold it up, brother. Inhale, tension. Shoulders back, chest out. And do that one more time. It's an amazing stretch for your lower back, your upper back. Arms out to a T. What's my heart rate say now? 138. I was just at 90. So I went up. I went up a total of 48 clicks. I didn't move. <laughs> I just moved my arms, squeezed my glutes. I didn't run. Am I okay with you on that? Okay. Um, it's all about engaging the muscles and creating that resistance. Now, I only do that like that in the beginning, and then I let go until I'm doing any punches because my heart rate will go too high. And then you can see I was sweating already, <laughs> you know, from just raising my arms four times. And if you really understand what 138 means, I follow Dr. Phil Mathetone's version of the heart rate. You take 180 less your age. I'm 56, that's 124. Now, I can add 10 clicks in it because I'm a superiorly trained athlete, but I like to stay right in between there, around 124, 128, 130, 132. I don't really wanna go any higher than that because I have done workouts where I stayed at 150 or 155. I'm like, like I'm exhausted. And when I'm doing a class, like I'll be doing here tomorrow, doing two seminars, by the end of that day, I'll be exhausted because I'll have that energy up there at times where I'll have to take myself down. By the second you know, seminar I do, I'll guarantee you, I let go. Because it becomes Tai Chi at that time. So no one has ever done this before. With any kind of workout ever, no one has ever applied dynamic resistance in this way to a workout. And also saying, like, especially people who are overweight or having or injured or coming back, if they're 56, again, 56 is 180, 124, they may drop five or ten clicks. Don't work too hard. When you're 50, 100 pounds, or anywhere like that, overweight, just raising your arms, forget engaging, your heart rate's going through the roof. How many people actually just raise their arms, period? Like, think the last time you did it. <laughs> you, think about the last time you did it. Probably, who knows? I doubt probably ever, you know? But we, you know, there's no reason for us to do anything but that. You don't do this. You know, you don't do this. The first thing I'll be teaching with dynamic resistance will be this. And I'll say, just push these together. Don't put any weight, don't put any pressures, do that. Look what happens to my biceps and my, uh, and my chest. I'm just doing this, I'm not flexing it out. It just does it. Now, if you, push hard, boom, and you pull your pinkies out, now your entire upper body's engaged. Again, your heart's gotta beat faster to get the blood to the muscle. So, and again, it was done by mistake. Thanks for watching this video on Belief That, guys. I'm Diamond Dallas Page, and if you wanna know anything about what I'm doing, you can go to ddpyoga.com or teamddpyoga.com. See ya. Bang.